we've gathered today, the occasion where a man and woman that we know and love will publicly proclaim their love and declare commitment to each other. The nature of today is a solemn event and a happy event. And for some of us gathered here today, it will spark memories. And for others, it will perhaps bring aspirations for the future. And for Mary, Margaret, and Jonathan, this is an act of participation in what they believe to be God's will for their lives. You are a picture and every piece seems to fall into place. You are the moment when I know that I will never be the same. And every word that I could find in the corners of my mind will never be enough to let you Marriage is a sacred relationship. It should never be entered into lightly or unprayerfully. It's sacred because it was ordained of God, who in the beginning, having created man in his own image, realized it was not good for him to be alone. So Genesis tells us the Lord caused a deep sleep to come upon Adam, and taking one of his ribs, he created Eve. Having created the woman, he brought her to the man, and then there in the Garden of Eden, he performed the first marriage ceremony, when he said, therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and cleave unto a wife, and they too shall be one. Paul wrote to the church at Ephesus, For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, and that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height and to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge, that you might be filled with all the fullness of God. Jonathan, God's word tells us that a husband should love his wife as much as Christ loved the church. And Christ loved the church so much that he gave up his life for her. There's no greater love in all the world than the love Jesus Christ demonstrated to us when he died on a cross for us. That kind of love is what God desires that you give to Mary Margaret, putting her first in your life above all others. And if you do that, it will bring more joy and fulfillment into your life than any other human relationship could possibly bring. Mary Margaret, Paul said that a wife should put her husband first as she does the Lord. And this means that you're to walk by his side, you're to encourage him, support him, help him in every way. And the two of you will walk together as children of God and equal partners in this union and find fulfillment and completeness that God intended from the beginning of time if you put God first and outserve each other. Love between a Christian man and a Christian woman means caring as much as the welfare and happiness of your partner as you do about yourself. It means looking in the same direction together. It means that your burdens will be lighter because you divide them. Your joys will be greater because you multiply them. 
No other human tie is more tender and no other vows more sacred than the ones that you're about to assume. I, Jonathan, take you, Mary Margaret. I, Jonathan, take you, Mary Margaret. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better or for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge thee my love. And thereto I pledge thee my love. Mary Margaret, repeat after me. I, Mary Margaret, take you, Jonathan. I, Mary Margaret, take you, Jonathan. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge thee my love. And thereto I pledge thee my love. Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for this day. And we're thankful for these two, for Jonathan, for Mary Margaret, for what they mean to us, but even more so what they mean to you. And Father, we ask for your blessing on this union. We ask that you will bless them with many, many decades. And help us to do our part, Father, to support them and love them. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, by the power vested in me by the state of South Carolina and a minister of the gospel, I pronounce you husband and wife. And what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Jonathan, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Wasiluk.